Thank you for taking the time to join us for this brief demonstration of Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. This is a phenomenal release that has been two years in the making. Microsoft Dynamics AX is an adaptable business management solution and this new version offers rich and powerful capabilities to help growing organizations streamline processes, reduce operational costs, manage compliance and drive informed decision making across the organization. Let me show you how Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 helps companies increase productivity and foster more confident decision making. What we are looking at here is an example of a role center. This is the CFO role center and is an example of one of the 30 plus role centers that we will ship in this release. The Role Center provides the landing page for a user when they access the business application. It shows key information that is needed to carry out their role. For example, you will see key financial KPI information coming from our integration to Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services. You will also see key reports that are relevant to the role. In this example, current sales data displayed as a chart through our integration to Microsoft SQL Server Reporting Services. You will also see data coming from external sources. This enables us to combine rich content that is relevant to the role but may not be in the business application. In this example, a feed from the Microsoft Dynamics financial community. One of the fundamental shifts we are making in this release is to get the business application to coordinate tasks between employees. We are providing a unified work list that surfaces notifications from the workflow system, alerts from the business alerting system and activities assigned to employee from different parts of the business application. I can perform actions like approvals or find additional information directly from the unified work list. We believe the event driven or task driven approach to processes coordinated with workflow will provide greater productivity benefits to streamline tasks within the organization. If I change to Charlie, the CEO, we enable rich business analytics information to be displayed on the role center to enable more effective monitoring and decision making. A CEO, in this case, can build up their own scorecard by adding from the list of available KPIs. For example, if I select the general ledger cube, you'll see the range of KPIs that are available to be added to the role center. By providing cubes with predefined KPIs, companies have the visibility into their business from day one of their ERP implementation. Let's take a look at another example of a role center. In this case, Inga, the purchasing manager. The role center is a Microsoft SharePoint web part page and is available in the Microsoft Dynamics AX client and through a web browser with the Microsoft Dynamics AX Enterprise Portal. Displaying the role center through SharePoint provides access to employees who traditionally may not have had access to the business application. I'd like to show you another key feature of the role center that we're introducing for transactional workers. This is the concept of a queue. The queue is a visual indicator of the transactions in the system. In this case, open vendor invoices. I can click on the queue and drill into the details, which enables me to investigate transactions. We know that some companies have large contingent or temporary staff. Traditionally, it has been expensive to train these resources to use an ERP application. We are introducing the concept of the back and forwards button, which will be very familiar to users who have used a web browser. With these, I can start to now browse the business application instead of having to use complex commands and menuing systems. We're also providing a history feature which will enable users to navigate areas of the application they have already accessed. We are also introducing the breadcrumb bar. This will be very familiar to users who have used the address bar of a web browser. With this, I can see at all times where I am at in the business application and use it to navigate to new functions that I need. For example, in this case, purchase orders. Now that I've navigated to purchase orders, I can start my work using the new list page concept. You can see from here, I can see the status of all my orders and I can filter and find orders that I might be interested in. We are also introducing the new concept of a preview pane. The preview pane saves time by presenting key information about the order to avoid having to drill down further into the system. You will see across the top of the list page we have a new concept called the action pane. The action pane guides the user through the processes that they need to perform in the context of the document that they are on. In this case a purchase order, you'll see that the action pane shows purchase, receive, invoice functionality. If I change to the receive functionality, you'll notice, for example, if I change from uh, an order that is received 
to an order that is an open order, the functionality that is available to me as the user will change based on the context or the status of the document. We know that business isn't always perfect and we're always dealing with exceptions. To deal with exceptions we need to collaborate. In the context of a purchase order, I may need to contact the supplier to understand the status of an order. In Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009, we've made a fundamental shift to bring collaboration tools to the business application. From here, I can see the presence or the status of a contact. I can place an instant message, I can send an email, or I can even place a call. This functionality is provided through the integration with Office Communicator. This saves time having to look up another contact database and then making a call. I can do it directly from the business application. We also know that employees need to report status information to management, so we are providing multiple levels of self-service BI. A worker like Inga, a purchasing manager, might need to make a simple status report on the orders in the system. With one simple click, I can export this data to Microsoft Excel, and I can do this from any list in the system. Using the analysis capabilities in Microsoft Excel, I can simply present this data for the meeting that I might be going to. Using these integration capabilities, we think that this will be a great productivity tool to enable employees to make decisions from the information stored in the business application. We are also providing rich analysis capabilities through the cubes that we were shipping in this release. You saw earlier the ability to simply add a KPI on the CEO role center. Using Windows Authentication, I can access those cubes through Microsoft Excel. We're shipping a range of cubes covering financial, CRM, production, HRM for example. Let's go and do some quick analysis using the sales cube. Access to sales data for Inga the purchasing manager is important as it gives her the ability to look for trends and make dis better planning decisions. Using the cube functionality that we provide out of the box, I can take the standard dimensions, for example, my customer groups, my item groups, and also plot this over time. For example, I could pull the year. So this gives me visibility to the sales over a number of years by item groups and customer groups and I can also drill down to the specific product lines. Two challenges that businesses face is managing compliance and managing growth. As businesses expand, they face different needs of regulatory compliance and internal compliance. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009 helps companies manage risks and enforcing policies to manage their compliance requirements. We also know that companies can't sit still and need to constantly adapt. We are providing the tools to enable